Hey guys, welcome back to Builds and this is on my Grand Theft Auto 5 vehicle tutorial series. So today we have the Comet, a 911 Porsche base sports car. Looks absolutely incredible and you can pick this up for in-game for 100k. Which to be honest, for its amazing performance, the fact that just like the GTR, this has a custom interior so you won't see this on the inside of any other car, I don't believe. Uh, it just looks absolutely stunning. You're going to dominate in sports car races. I can tell you that from previous experience. Now, when handling this car, it is a bit of a beast. It kind of wants to throw itself out in the corners and just kind of throw you into a fence. So you've got to be a bit careful. But overall, this is an absolutely stunning car. I hope you enjoyed the following clips from Grand Theft Auto 5. I will be having some Grand Theft Auto 5 funnies content and also a heist coming to my channel in the near future so stick around for that guys but for now let's get into minecraft and get building this thing hey guys and welcome back to minecraft so sitting in front of me is of course the porsche 911 so let's just take a quick spin around this before we get into building it i just want to show you guys what everything represents for example out the front here i've done something a little bit clever i've used pistons turn to a certain angle on my build's texture pack edit which is basically like flows hd but you know you see things like in flows hd like the toolboxes and you're like oh, where can i use these we've changed things like that we've made them into modern sleek units and like the pistons who really uses pistons in building i don't most of you guys probably don't unless you're some kind of redstone guy so these are either fridges or i've put in item frames absolutely beast looking headlights check that out coming to the side now we have some discs people used to use these at building cars but i haven't really seen anyone use discs uh, in any recent builds of vehicles and i think they look absolutely amazing as sports car rims they look very realistic circular shaped you've got the middle bolt there and you've got the outer lines on the side here we've included some capital i marks which basically just represent the side vent which allows air to pass through the outside of the car onto the tires to cool them down as well as the brake discs i imagine this is because all porsches are real wheel rear wheel drive and uh that means the back wheels get the most friction they have to work the hardest and of course when you brake then brake discs are going to get very hot like on any high performance car because you're going to be driving it fast and want to stop at very fast speeds so that's what that represents and that's on the real life car guys i've tried to go very realistic here on the back here we have that huge spoiler that you saw previously on my yellow porsche 911 i've even tried to replicate the very number plane even the bolts which hold it in place and i've put two trip wire hooks here to represent the twin exhausts also on the porsche 911 and i think they've done a pretty good job that may not be legitimately doable for you guys but I'm going to be able to show you how to make something that looks similar, still pretty good, on default vanilla Minecraft. I've also put trip wire hooks on the side of the car, which represent the wind mirrors, and I think these also look really, really good. This has been done before, not that much though. And oh yes, the final detail, the one that I forgot to point out to you guys, of course. Getting onto the back here, you may notice we have a minecart with a hopper inside. And what that is, is that's the rear engine of the car. You may have noticed all Porsches, like I previously stated, explaining the wheels and that little grill detail, they are rear wheel drive. So of course, a rear wheel drive car with rear wheel, uh, with a rear engine, kind of, you know, it doesn't have to transport the energy all the way to the front wheels. Although some newer Porsches are four wheel drive. So guys, let's get into the build, <laughs> enough explaining here. You can use a variety of tire materials. Personally, I'm going for black stained clay, coal works, black wool works, you know, whatever floats your boat. You're gonna wanna leave a free gap in between this section, a one gap in between the middle, and keep in mind when building this, guys, the car is symmetrical. So get out your quartz blocks, place one here, here, two here, one in the middle. If we just, Build over the side there, you're going to want one here, one here, one across, some here, and then guys, you are done with them. You're not going to need quartz slabs anymore. 
Now what you're going to want to be doing is you're going to be getting out some quartz stairs, placing two on either side, like I said it's a symmetrical build, three on the back like shown, as you can see, and then two more here. Actually, sorry guys, I did tweak the design at final minute and there is one more quartz slab. Coming to the front now, you're going to want to get your stairs back out, one in the middle, two on the sides, like shown. And you're going to want to get yourselves out some item frames. Right here, just replace that with your tire block. You are no longer going to need that. Now, you don't have to put item frames on the front. In fact, it does make it look sleeker. But if you want to go for that ultra realistic look, I would highly recommend doing it. It just helps make the car look that little bit better. So we're now done with item frames. Now you're going to be wanting to put discs in all four tires. And at the front here, you're going to want to get out your pistons. Now guys, if you aren't in my texture pack and it is available to download in the description, I highly advise it for this build and for all my tutorials on my channel, not to mention my less builds. It really will give you that edge in building. Uh, I'd recommend white stained glass panes, glowstone beacons. For most texture packs, they will work. So you're going to want to turn this so that little fridge unit on the side there is facing downwards. That is so you don't have to look at it and that is probably the best option here, as you can see. Coming over to here now, you're going to get some carpet. This isn't a Formula 1 car so you're not going to see the top of the tyres and this helps prevent that kind of look. Getting to the sides now, we apply our wind mirrors which are represented by trip wire hooks like I said and they do a pretty good job of that. If you guys that don't have stop lag or don't have world edit or don't know how to do it, then what you can do here is you can get out some slabs, make a block, put some tripwire hooks on, and that is your double backing for them exhausts. Now we're going to get a sign out, place it on the back. You can say built by builds. If you could, I'd be very, very thankful if you did that because I do get some people who rip me off and say they design my stuff when they really don't. So if you could do that guys, that would be absolutely amazing if you're building it on a server. I really do appreciate your support, it is amazing. So if you guys that don't have world edit or stop lag, once again, just put some string here, it will support this carpet. And then you're just going to want to put a carpet over there. So it kind of joins onto the build, I found that that did look a little bit better. Now getting over to the most complicated part of the build, the signs. Now guys, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press spacebar until you reach a certain limit. So maybe a bit more here on two, say, then you're going to want to go one, two, three, four, like that. And you've got to find the right point to put your capital I. And this is actually surprisingly quite difficult. There you go. And then you're going to want to do it again. Whoops. See that one is slightly off. Just one more, one, two, three, four, like you go. There you go, guys. That is how you do that. Final detail before I forget is uh, just to put in quartz block there. Go ahead, slap some rails down inside that. I like to put the activator ones. You can't really see it, but if you could, or maybe if someone broke into your build, say, just to check it out because it looks pretty awesome, uh, what you could do is just put these down like so. Hopefully that's placed, oh, it hasn't. Let's just remove that block. It's gonna make it so much easier. Oh, it did place guys. It's just been a bit funky on us. Uh, it just stays in there. It just gives out that red kind of look. It looks a lot cooler. And then for this section in here, I'll get out some cobblestone stairs. Capital locks is on again, are you kidding me? Uh, stone stairs, cobblestone stairs. They kind of use the same texture. And uh, just place this at the bottom like so. Gives you a bit of variation of material. And there you go, guys. That is the tutorial over. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to smack that thumbs up button if you want to see more car tutorials from me builds. If you want to submit a build to me, please email me or tweet me at buildhd or aseriesgaming at gmail.com. I love to see you guys' designs and what you make. Leave a friendly comment down below. Tell me what you think of the series. Tell me what you think of the car. Are you liking it so far? If you do, that is awesome. And go subscribe for more content. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Or actually, no, the day after tomorrow for my Villa series. 
or there might be a review up of me and Smithers Boss reviewing this absolutely beautiful build on World of Kratos. See you guys in the next one, and thanks for being awesome.